Okay, welcome to Daily 3D Revolve. Today I'm going to be doing a Design Spark mechanical tutorial, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to use some of the features like Shell and uh, some of the other features in Design Spark mechanical. Okay, we're going to go ahead and go File New, New Design. I'm going to go ahead and change to Plan View, and we're just going to draw like a basic uh, part. We're going to Grab the rectangle tool, define from center. I'm going to go ahead and go 34 by 34 millimeters. We're going to round the corner, so we're going to grab our create rounded corners 3.41, 3.41. Oops, that one's. Okay, we'll just draw a basic shape like this. And we're going to go to our pool. We're going to rotate that a little bit. Then we're going to pull this out to, let's do undo. Let's just type in 12 millimeters. Okay, we're going to show you the shell command. The little feature right here that says shell, you can go ahead and uh, click on that. That'll shell for you. And then if you want to continue to shell stuff, you can click and it will get rid of uh, other things too. So basically, we could create something like this little stand here uh, just using the shell command and the rectangle command. Um, you can also pull a lot of this stuff into squares. Looks like it's not going to do that one. Okay, so that's the shell command. Um, it's pretty handy to have. Also, we're going to go over uh, the blend command right here, which is this little blend command. Uh, this is also handy too because you can click on one part and then you go ahead with the control key held down, click the other part. Then click blend and it basically puts a piece in there. So go ahead and spin that. We can do the same here. Go ahead and select that piece. Do the spin. Get our select tool, hold down the control key, select blend. Uh, check this green check mark. And we do the same here and then the same here. So we'll go ahead and click this. We'll blend, we'll spin, select, hold down the control key, get both of those, hit blend again, green check mark. And then we'll do the same right here. Click that, hit blend, grab our spin tool, spin this around. Get the select tool, hold down your control key, get both of them, and go back up to blend, hit blend, check. Okay, so now we have this little cap here. Um, another handy feature we'll go over in Design Sparks is actually copying and pasting uh, edges. So with that selected there, we can do Control C, Control V. We can select Move. We can grab this tool here, or the handle here, the blue one, and we can pull this out to 10 millimeters. Hit Enter. Go ahead and fill this so it's a solid. And now we can go and blend this as well. So we'll click there. Spin. Grab the Select tool. Hold down Control. And then we'll uh, blend. So now you have this little piece here. Can also do use blend for uh, the corners. Oh, this might not be uh, steep enough to do that. 
Okay, so we'll go back to shell. So right in here, we want to shell this. We'll go ahead and hit shell. And then we have this little piece here. And if we want to continue to, to shell these things, we just click where whatever we don't want, we just click it and it basically goes away. So now we have this little opening here. And we can do the same thing here. We can shell this. Oh, actually, we can't shell that. But anyhow, so now we have this little kind of enclosure piece here. Control minus. We can basically click on that and do a pull. And we can drag this up. Okay, let's go pan down. And if we want to put in uh, fillets, we can go ahead. One quick, quick easy uh, trick is to actually a triple click or click three times and then you'll it'll select all of the lines instead of having to do one line at a time it's a good little trick for uh, putting in fillets and chamfers We wanted to fill this in solid. We could also use the blend command. We can click here, spin, hold down the get this uh, select, hold that down, click the blend. Now it becomes a solid. You can also copy these edges too here. Control C, Control V, go to move. We can move those out just to say 20. Okay, now we can blend these edges together by holding the Control key down. Select blend. Now you have a face there, and then you just fill it. Hit the green, the green check. Now you have a, you'll have to combine this, this with this, so it's not so see-through. So we can do that, and we can also blend this now that we have it. We can select that bottom piece, blend, and then select this one. Go ahead and check. Now we have a solid there. Now we can go ahead and put a fillet in here. And we can uh, shell this if we want. Go ahead and grab the shell tool. Oh, this might be too too big, so we'll go 0.5. Oh, it looks like it's not going to shell it. It's probably too small. Let's do three millimeters, see if that'll do it. No, I'm not going to show it. Okay, that's fine. We'll just continue working on this. You can also copy this face here. Let's move the red down. Grab the green, move the green over. Now we can actually blend these two together. Now this kind of odd shape. And then we can do the same here with the blend. Grab this face, that face. See, looks like it won't blend it. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. We don't need 
these are the lines here. We can actually pull this one up, so just go click there, just drag it up right there. So now we have this shape. We can do the same thing here. We can copy this, paste, and then we can move this. Move that little piece out of the way and then move it down just a little bit. And then we can blend those together. Let's see if it'll work. Blend. There it is. Let's do undo. Let's drag this down a little bit more and make it more extreme. And then let's pull it closer together. and move it to about there. Grab the blend. Check. Okay. So, so far most of this stuff we've created with just the uh, basic tool, the shell command, and the uh, blend tool. And then we can continue this with the blending. Grab that, control C, control V, go to move, grab the blue arrow, let's move it up. And then we go ahead and blend those two together. Now we're getting to kind of an unusual part here. But you see the power of using the uh, the blend tool, and then I don't know if we can shell that. I'm gonna guess probably not. No, it's too. The rails are too thin. Okay, go back to top view. Okay, that's gonna end today's tutorial on using the uh, shell command and the blend tool. Hopefully, you enjoy watching and you got something useful out of this video. Thanks for watching.